Report to your live here from Liberty Village to check out the 2283 CNE Drone Show. It's live from last week, episode 141. Let's go! my fellow geowalkers to another episode of live from last week hope last week has served you well just a quick shameless plug before we go on I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel so yesterday after craving some food that i haven't had in a while i went to the local royal kanji for the first time in a long time to take out their patented spicy and pepper salted pork chop and with my taste buds really missing this flavor for dinner the specialty dish ever tasted so delicious. But anyways, today after getting a less than three hour post night shift nap in, tonight I'm going in for my fourth night shift in a row, seventh shift in the span of nine nights, singing a song that I haven't sung in a while with my traditional get shift done shirt on, saying I've got one more night. Before I go in for my shift, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my buddies out there, of whom you guys remember I delivered that Alec Manoa bobblehead to several weeks ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Yuli. Happy birthday, Yuli. We've also got a birthday shout out to another buddy of mine, of whom I went to several sporting events with many times in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After a busy and stressful night shift where I got out of the hospital at 8.15 a.m., I was consoled by the fact that we had a random cameo while going into work by one of my friends that I haven't seen in quite a while. Yo. <laughs> oh, special cameo with PK! <laughs> but after arriving home and being unable to sleep post night shift, too excited to actually have a stretch of days off, after working seven night shifts in the past nine nights, I set out with the wife in the mini to visit a couple of our friends, meeting up with G and Paul to go to a local party city in Saga, to buy some decorations and a couple of party supplies. And looking at all the behind the scenes hard work that we put into this spontaneous project, we made Paul's car into a decorative surprise, later revealing it to one of our close friends. Surprise! Surprise! 
And guys, while we're on the topic of celebrations, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my soccer friends from when I was younger who always used to nickname me Nakamura. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kelly. Happy birthday, Chris. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Anyways, on to our dinner tonight, where we're in Saga to celebrate a reunion of friends once again at one of my favorite all-you-can-eat places here called Takumi. Tell, tell make me wanna... <laughs> <laughs> So after that fun time with my friends enjoying that all-you-can-eat dinner last night, we headed to the local Saga escape room place called Hint Hunt, trying out their submarine-themed escape room, having a fun time team building with these guys. And after doing several escape rooms before, with themes like Jail, The Da Vinci Code, and the most recent one with Ramos and Joey doing the Red Mission, I, with our team, completed the mission and escaped my first ever escape room for the first time in four tries. Woohoo! First ever escape room completion! Anyways, on to this morning, where I went earlier to the cemetery to do my monthly visit to my Lala V. Hey Lala, it's JJ, just doing my monthly visit to you on this beautiful, gorgeous, late August morning. And I just wanted to say, we're still thinking about you, we miss you, and we love you. Till next time, Lala. And afterwards, when the wife finally woke up, for the first time seeing them since this live from last week episode, we went to the condo of my Ate Shahs with, if you guys can remember, had this beautiful view of Buttonville Airport and where she greeted me with this amazing gift. Recalling from the time I went to their concert last year, I got this limited edition Starbucks black pink cup. Thank you Ate Shah. As well, later on in the day, spending time with my nephew, Blueberry, for the first time in a long time, over the span of almost three hours, we completed this large game of Super Scrabble. And check it out guys, with only having five tiles remaining at the end, we had both scored over 450 points in one single game. But yeah, after we left Atisha's place, and recalling all these ice cream cones that we got all throughout the summer, today was the last day that McDonald's had their summer special of $1 ice cream cones. So what exactly did we do before we got to the condo tonight? In honor of this special, we went through the drive-thru for the last time this month and got ourselves another set of $1 ice cream cones. Anyways, moving on before we wrap it up for the night, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my classmates back in university of whom I last saw at the hospital precepting her students who are nurses of the future. This birthday greeting goes out to you Charmaine. Happy birthday Charmaine. I'm hoping that at this time you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So first of all I want to say happy first day of September. Welcome to September, guys! So yeah, waking up early to do a morning commute to drive the wife to her day shift earlier. I stopped by Walmart to get these handful of groceries before making this spontaneous purchase that we all know the wife won't like me doing. But anyways, after chilling at home for the rest of the morning, I went with the mini to pick up my buddy that I haven't seen in a long while, taking him today on a bubble tea date to a place that I've been to a couple months back. 
so that I can show him the humongous size of the jumble bubble tea that they have here. Put it up to your face. <laughs> <laughs> at the Midland and Finch location of morning. And after hanging out here for a little bit, <laughs> Cheers, Cam. Cheers. To never seeing you until this moment. <laughs> so good. How's your tea? Wow. It's really good. For the first time in 2023, since this episode last year, I finally broke out my golf clubs hitting up this driving range at the 407 slash 404 area. Which had these pretty cool simulation monitors that I personally enjoyed playing with. Okay, going for that white flag there. And after getting a jumbo bucket of golf balls today, aiming and hitting shots that would later come up on the simulation screen, and finally being able to direct my shots how I want them to, which golfing for the first time this year really impressed myself, we wrapped things up after finishing that jumbo bucket and had me remembering one of the specific reasons why I don't in particular like golf. And that, of course, is the trauma slash blisters that this session had given me. But anyways, before we continue on, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my family friends who I know through my cousin, Elron. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Christine Joy. Happy birthday, Christine Joy. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my friends who made this Live From Last Week episode cameo back at Blue Mountain in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Stefan. Happy birthday, Stefan. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Continuing on for dinner, going to this place for yet another Too Good To Go package. I'm here in the Victoria Park area to scoop up this evening's meal before picking up the wife downtown after her day shift, before reuniting with some friends that I haven't seen in a while who have made previous Laugh From Last Week episode cameos on a Friday night at Omniscape Scarborough to catch up with them and go in to do our second escape room in the span of three nights. Guys, at Amos Cape, Scarborough, it was great times catching up with Indy, Kennedy, and Justin once again, trying to complete the virus outbreak escape room, of which we unfortunately ran out of time with only two puzzles to go. And before we wrapped up the night at the local Coco's Place bar, we were able to take a couple of pictures of us being sad that we are just so close to escaping that room. And after staying out late, having only about four hours of nap time, the lack of sleep had caught up with me and I was just a couch potato all day. But guys, I did get a little bit of motivation after catching my first beautiful September sunset from the condo, taking the Baby Rouge for a nice nighttime ride, visiting the nearby Value Village to find some treasures, such as this photo frame that I plan to use at Lilith's site the next time I visit her, as well as this spontaneous dress pants purchase right off the rack, setting me up for a nice full-on wardrobe to catch the Barbie movie sometime in the future. But anyways, after taking some time to chill in the parking lot of the formerly known Tatami Sushi, which is now replaced by a new restaurant here called August 8, which I'm hoping to try out sometime in the future, and before I head back to the condo tonight, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousins out there who I don't think I've seen since he surprised me at my bachelor party. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tutu. Happy birthday, Tuts. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. With passing out for only five and a half hours and getting up way too early this morning, I decided to be productive getting up on the stationary bike for the first time in a long while. And motivated by this exercise at the CanFit Pro Expo, 
I did some compound exercises combined with burpees with weights, which really had reality hitting me hard. Cause as you guys can see here, I had already reached my maximum heart rate, being out of shape after only an 11 minute workout. But guys, I was able to remain productive today, making this delicious breakfast for the wife for when she got home from her night shift. With the special challenge of trying to make rice in a pot for the first time, without the assistance of a rice cooker. But luckily for us, my chef skills are improving as the rice I made was edible and pretty decent for an amateur. As well, I had got to make my patented avocado, banana, and mango smoothies utilizing the formerly used morning bubble tea cup to make this drink look legit. We had also caught the very intense FIBA Canadian men's basketball game versus Spain, of which was a very contested back and forth match with our boys pulling out the win, advancing to the quarterfinals of the tournament, but more importantly, qualifying for the 2024 Olympics in Paris. I then went to the St. Teresa Parish Shrine of the Little Flower to attend weekly Sunday Catholic Mass, before randomly running into one of my cousin Ray's friends, a background movie star from the Triple X Return of Xander Cage fame. Yo, Ray, look who I found at No Frills. Yo, boo hide. <laughs> Anyways, tonight, I'm just roaming around on the motorcycle, going through the streets of Toronto while the wife is off on her night shift, stopping by a music store that me and my old roommate Jeffers used to go to when he was living downtown, as well as catching the c &E drone show from the views of Liberty Village, before going back to the condo in Scarborough later tonight. So cool. So guys, while filming my segment last night at Liberty Village, with me having this reaction. Huh? What the heck? You are, what? Guess who decided to make yet another unplanned random cameo on the same day after not seeing him for years. Yo Ray, look who I found this time at the C&E. Yo, what the heck? Like two times in the past 10 hours? <laughs> so dumb. Anyways, today, Labor Day Monday, having heard that the sister wanted to spend time in the GTA, we decided to hang out after picking her up from Yorkdale. And guys, after seeing this Facebook post by the one and only Tito Eddie, we started to make our way to Oshawa's Lakeview Park to try and find him. Yo, at Lakeview Park in Oshawa, let's go find and stalk mom and dad. This is the bench that they were on. Okay. So where are they? But after finding out that the parents weren't at this beach anymore, so after unsuccessfully finding the parents, and then telling us that they left an hour ago from Lakeview Park. It's time to go pick them up and try to go out for some food. We picked up the parentals to take them to a place that we've been to in a previous Laugh From Last Week episode for a nice Labor Day family dinner. Good health, good life, enjoy life, okay? Pepper corn, beef then, after going back to Scarborough to have the little sister play with our K-pop light wand collection. See the moon. Like, yeah, just like you're at the concert. <laughs> now if you hit your head with it, it synchronizes with the light. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> we made the commute downtown to drive the wife to work before heading here to the Woodbine Park area. And guys, while I was here thinking about one of my favorite K-pop groups, New Jeans, as well as their fans called Bunnies, I made this spontaneous purchase before we left this park. Anyways guys, before it turns dark, I'll enjoy this beautiful sunset that we have to the west of Toronto, and we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, 
and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.